Hello everyone, my name's Sam, or Samuel Jericho, and today I've got a presentation for you all. Thank you to my world history teacher, because now I have an assignment to play off as a new upload. Again, thank you. I'll be talking about this very special pair of shoes I own, a pair of personalized 2018 Chuck Taylor Converse. Let's begin, and before I begin fully, I'm very sorry, this video might be a little bit more trash than most of my videos, because I have some technical difficulties. Yeah, <laughs> and the assignment is due in about six hours, and I'm not trying to have a late assignment. So yeah, thank you very much. That was mainly for my YouTube audience, but like, you guys get to hear this too in my class. Yeah, too bad. <laughs> Let's begin. Got a stick in my hand, bitch, I feel like Selena I feel like I'm on and pull up with my Nina My trade in the whip and go call me a beam Like an alien, bitch, take me to your damn leader Call me Goku while your ass is fucking Vegeta I got black and brown on me, I look like a cheater Making hits like it's nothing, they say I'm a cheater Before I get all sappy, I might as well go over some Converse history The brand dates all the way back to 1908 With a man by the name of Marquez Mills Converse If I got that wrong, by pronunciation, I'm sorry, I can't read Originally titled Converse Rubber Shoe Company, mainly selling rain boots at the beginning until they began to dabble into the world of basketball. This is when a band by the name of Charles Chuck Taylor comes into play. A semi-professional basketball player that became closely involved with Converse. The classic style we know today, the prime design I'm currently pre presenting to you all for 100 points. This creation was named after him and represented by him as well. For a while, they presented as a basketball shoe until they became outdated for the, sh for the sport and became a universal shoe. And now, people in all walks of the world are familiar with the shoe. You can find videos that have more detail about it or go more into depth with Converse history, but we don't have that time because five minutes. I'm not trying to make it much longer than that. Let's continue. Love when it comes without a warning if you can't tell, Converse holds a pretty sizable sentiment to me. The brand's been a big part of my childhood. Every character I drew had some classic Chuck Taylors. Cool characters and cartoons were always wearing them. I had a red pair I almost never took off in elementary school. Plus, so many people went through the knee-high Converse phase. And some people might still be there. They're so universal and, they're, and they've had a major impact on almost everyone I've ever known. And... They also have a lot of worldwide influence and connections most of us are already familiar with. Let's go over some examples. I don't know how to pronounce this, so we're just going to call it the Heart Collaboration Converse. Pretty sure you guys will know what that means, if I saw the picture here as well. This collaborative shoe has been titled the most influential sneaker of the 2010-2019 century. Century? Wow. Decade. <laughs> My apologies. This specific co collection is extremely popular, and you can see that just by re referencing resale prices for them. They're mainly known for the streetwear crowd, but can be referenced pretty much everywhere you go. Now, let's speed this up. They've had some pretty nice projects with people that, like Tyler the Creator, Off-White, and Hello Kitty. Two of those are not people. My apologies. There's a lot more to come from them, and a lot more to see, and appreciate. Love when it comes Let's reference the classic Chuck Taylor we're all familiar with. People have been customizing the shoe for years. The customization of the shoe brings a sense of identity to the artist. It gives the pair a unique quality some others may not be able to capture. And that brings us to our main topic. My personal black customized high top Chuck Taylors. They may not be extravagant, and they may not be the most great project to look at, but they mean a lot to me. I've had them for about four years. They've been through every breakup I've actually cared about and every meaningful achievement of mine. They've seen the parts of my life I actually care to remember. The designs tell things that I found to be meaningful at the time. My interests, my general moods, emotions, how my life at the time felt. They express so much to me. The amount of displeasure my mom would feel when I constantly drew on my shoes, the praise I'd receive the day after they were done, this pair of shoes embodies these, quali but these qualities. They embody my love for shoes, they embody my interest in the art of, cu of customization, 
They embody my fascination for many genres of the fashion world. They embody some of the most influential parts of my life. And I truly love this pair of shoes. Platonically, of course. Not in a podophilia way. Thank you for watching. You can find this video and more on the JSUSPA channel. And have a good day. Please subscribe.